YMCA. Today we are going to be learning about the five food groups and how to categorize them into my plate. Today's lesson is brought to us by the Healthy Schools, Healthy Communities curriculum by the Michigan Fitness Foundation. Today's lesson is called Eat the My Plate Way, Give Me Five. Are you ready to get going? Sounds good. This is my plate. There are five food groups in my plate. We have fruits, vegetables, grains, protein, and dairy. Five food groups make up what we should be eating to keep our bodies healthy. We can see that the fruits and vegetables take up a half our plate. It's so important for us to be eating our fruits and vegetables. So we're going to be talking about all of these today. I'm going to give you some examples of fruits and foods in the different food groups. I have corn. Where do you think corn might fall in our food group? It would be a vegetable. Good job. What about if I were to choose chicken nuggets? I know some of you really like chicken nuggets. Where do you think chicken nuggets might fall? Chicken nuggets are a protein. Nice job. Let's keep going. What about goldfish crackers? I know a lot of you like to eat goldfish crackers. Where would this fall? Right in the grains group. This is a whole grain right here, so we want to make sure that it goes into the grains group. Ooh, what about if I were to choose string cheese? Where do you think cheese might fall? Cheese is a dairy, so this falls into the dairy group. Keep up the good work. We're going to be playing some more games, so keeping this in mind. What about blueberries? Blueberries are one of my favorite fruits. We can find this right in the fruit section. I gave you that clue. Blueberries are a fruit. Berries are a fruit. So right there. Nice job. The message of my plate is to make sure that we're eating different foods. And we want to make sure that we eat different colors of foods too. A nice variety of colors. The same thing over and over again. Doesn't help our body as much as eating maybe blueberries and carrots because now we have something blue, we've got something orange, and it makes it fun to see all of those colors on the plate. So we're going to talk about my plate a little bit more. When you think of pizza, do you think pizza would fall into my plate? There's so many components of a pizza that can fall into my plate. And we call that a combination food. When we have lots of items put together to make one thing that we eat, it's a combination food. So let's look at that. If we were to look at the crust of a pizza, it's a whole grain. So where would we put a pizza crust? I kind of gave you a clue in that name. It would be a grain. Nice job. If we were to think about the proteins in our food group, what kind of protein might we find on a pizza? Remember, proteins tend to be meats and beans. What kind of protein? Do you think maybe bacon on your pizza? I've had bacon on my pizza. Or what about maybe some yummy ham on a pizza? Those would both be proteins. What about, have you ever had fruit on your pizza? What kind of fruit might you have on a pizza? I know there's a lot of debate over pineapple. I like pineapple on my pizza, but pineapple is a fruit. So now so far we've got our, our grains, our protein, our fruits. What are we missing on our pizza? Let's think about our vegetables. What about the sauce? What is sauce made out of? Tomatoes. Tomatoes are a vegetable. So we would have our 
grains, our protein, our vegetable, our fruit. Could we have other vegetables on our pizza? What kind of vegetable do you like on your pizza? I know one of the vegetables I like are green peppers. So sometimes I have green peppers on my pizza. So we've got our vegetable, we've got our fruit, we've got our protein, we've got our grain. What are we missing? I know some of you got it. We're missing our dairy. What would fall into our dairy group? The cheese, of course. We need to have lots of cheese on our pizza to bring it all together. So now we have our vegetable, our fruit, our protein, our grains, and our dairy. Do you remember what a food is called when we have all of those put together? A combination food. You guys are so smart at this. In just a minute, we're going to begin to build a meal. And we want to think about all of these things. We want to think about our my plate with our fruits, our vegetables, our proteins, our grains, and our dairy, our five food groups. So let's get started on creating our best meal ever. Are you ready? Okay, I'll see you soon. So we are going to try to create some healthy meals using our my plate. One of the things that we have on my plate is a protein. So we want to make sure that we have a protein on my plate. I have some yummy turkey here. We also want to make sure that we have a grain. So I have a nice whole wheat dinner roll here. We want to make sure that we have a vegetable. So I have some green peas. We want to make sure we have a fruit. So I have some awesome watermelon. And then we also want to make sure that we have a dairy. So I've got some milk right here. So I have my five food groups right here. I've got my grains, protein, vegetables, fruit, and dairy. And I've got a nice variety of colors for us. So that way it keeps our body nice and healthy. Would this be a meal that you might want to eat? I think this would be a meal I would want to eat. Should we look at another meal that maybe we could create? I sometimes like to eat sandwiches. When we look at sandwiches, what do we put our sandwiches on? Well, we usually put our sandwiches on bread. So we've got a nice whole grain bread right here. We have to have a protein, so I think I might want to try ham on my sandwich today. Could we put a vegetable on our sandwich? Maybe some nice crisp green lettuce. Could we put a dairy on our sandwich? That would be a little crazy to think that we could put a dairy on our sandwich unless it's some nice cheese. We also have our top slice of bread. So we've got our grains, our protein, our vegetable, our dairy. Are we missing something? We are missing something. I think we need to add a nice apple for us to finish off our meal. What do you think about that? Do we have all five food groups now? Is this a sandwich you might want to eat? I think it's a sandwich I would want to eat. I love trying new things, so sometimes something might be a little new, but that's okay. We can always try it. What about if we were to start out with a hot dog bun as our grain? Maybe a hot dog to go with that. So we've got our grain, we've got our protein. What else might we need? What about a vegetable? Some nice yellow corn. What about a fruit? Maybe some nice green grapes. And are we missing one thing? I think we are our dairy. So do we have all five food groups now? We do. Is this a meal that you might want to eat? 
Maybe you could help make this meal with a special person at home. All right, friends, did we have a good time creating some new meals? Did any of those meals sound good to you? I think they sounded good to me. Some of those I might even try to make this week. I want you to look at the foods that you eat throughout the next few days, and I want you to see if you can put those different foods into those food groups. See if you can figure out what fruits you're eating, what vegetables you're eating, what proteins you're eating, what dairy you're eating, what grains you're eating. See if you can find all five of those food groups. I want you to look at those sandwiches and look at those meals that we created and see if you can make some of those pretend sandwiches for your families at home. All right, my friends, we will see each other again soon and learn some more things about keeping our bodies healthy. Have a great day.